Hello Capricorn, welcome to another love reading. We'll be doing a how they feel about you love reading today. This is going to be a reading where we look at what's going on in your connection, what are they thinking or feeling about you or the connection, and what are their next actions going to be towards you. So let's get right into it. For Capricorn Spirit, what messages do you have for Capricorn in love? For Capricorn, when it comes to love. As always, this is going to be a general reading, Capricorn. So take what resonates, leave the rest. If it doesn't resonate at all, check out my playlist for Capricorn. If it does resonate, don't forget to leave me a comment and let me know if it resonated for you. I love hearing from you all. All right, let's see. For Capricorn, what's going on in love? Wow, Ten of Cups, first card out. And the Empress, jeez, okay. Well, this is awesome. Growth, happiness, happy endings, love, abundance. What else? What other messages do you have for Capricorn? Two of Wands, some sort of path here. Patiently waiting before. Wow, yeah, this is definitely a path. Someone, um, you or this other person has walked away and chosen a different path. What else? What other messages do you have for Capricorn? Wow, the Emperor. We have the Emperor and the Empress on the board. Aries energy divine partnership here these two make a great couple temperance reverse sagittarius energy so i feel like this could be somebody that you're dealing with who could be you as well but this is someone who's trying to make something work and it's needing to take a little bit more time or effort to make something work maybe um, patience is needed more moderation is needed a little bit more blending is needed here. But the Emperor is definitely somebody that can make something work. For sure. Let's see. Tell me more about these energies for Capricorn. Let's get some more insight into what's going on here. So far, it looks really good. I feel like this is a very strong connection. Tell me about the Empress and the Ten of Cups. Wow, yeah, this is this is awesome. What is, this is a beautiful reading. Chariot, moving forward, success. Yeah, definitely. I have at the bottom of the deck, Queen of Pentacles. Are you kidding me? The Emperor and the Empress, they're a great couple because they definitely complement each other. Uh, but they don't depend on each other, if that makes sense. So they add to each other's lives. It's a nice balance between them. I don't even feel like clarifying more, to be honest. <laughs> the Chariot to me is, I mean, this is, I'm so sorry, my dog decided to bring a really noisy toy in here. Leon, can you go play somewhere else, please? Man. Oh, jeez. If he gets too noisy, I'll have to take the toy away from him. Okay, let's see. Tell me about this Two of Wands with this Eight of Cups. Two of Pentacles reverse. Tell me about this Two of Wands with this Eight of Cups, please, for Capricorn. Seven of Wands reverse. Interesting. I feel like something here was just too hard, too difficult, and someone dropped it. Yeah. This was a way to bring back control. Strength card. Leo energy here.
someone made a choice and it was a very controlled balanced choice this could be you or your person capricorn and this was a choice to walk away i don't know if this is walking away from this current partnership you both are in or something that's affecting you it could be walking away from a job walking away from an unhealthy situation you know with family or something like that tell me about this eight of cups let's see Tell me about this Eight of Cups. High Priestess. Someone was guided by their intuition. Tell me about this Eight of Cups. They could have kept this to themselves as well. Yeah. Someone was definitely guided by their intuition, by what they were thinking of. It's like... They did some deep soul searching here. Maybe they were stuck in a situation that wasn't progressing. They decided to walk away. Tell me about temperance reverse. Okay. Ace of wands reverse. Nine of pentacles reverse. Yeah, something is needed. More time is needed, more balance, more effort is needed to make this Ace of Wands upright. And it's because there's someone here that's still kind of attached to something, not completely free, independent, or secure. Tell me about this Nine of Pentacles reverse. Why is this Nine of Pentacles reverse? Justice reverse, wow. Libra energy. Something feels unfair to someone here. It could be a legal situation or a divorce, possibly. Could be a karmic situation. The lovers reverse. I'm not going to take these because there's too many of them. But the Four of Wands was reversed with the Four of Pentacles reverse. This could have been some sort of separation. Maybe a separation is needed here or a different choice. Maybe someone... Hmm. I feel like someone's not free of a choice they made. Tell me if this is resonating at the bottom um, in the comments section, please, Capricorn. If this is resonating for you. I feel like this is a situation where you're dealing with probably a masculine energy. That's trying to make something happen, but I feel like they in the past must have made some sort of choice that is affecting them now. Tell me about this Ace of Wands reverse. Yeah, I feel like there, there's still a lot of work here to do. Still a lot of work, a lot of building, a lot of, yeah. There's work yet that need, needs to be done here in order to have a new beginning. But this emperor will get it done. They are definitely somebody that they don't shy away away from hard work or making decisions. Tell me more about this connection or what's going on here for Capricorn. Tell me more, Spirit. We have a lot of major arcanas on the board. This is very um, powerful energies. Powerful energy shifts. Tell me more for Capricorn. What do they need to know when it comes to love messages for Capricorn, please? Children, your love life is being affected by children. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Someone here, here could be going through some sort of separation and there's children involved. I'm also getting the sense, like, children, for me, too, as a reader, it can be someone that's not emotionally mature. Anything else for Capricorn? Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moment. So I feel like, yes, this is somebody that's not free. Someone needs to free themselves of a past situation. And that's why the Eight of Cups is here. 
So what are they thinking or feeling about you, Capricorn? I'm using my new Secret Moon Oracle deck. This is out now, available in my Etsy shop. The link is down below. What is this person thinking or feeling about Capricorn Spirit? What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn, please? This one. I wasn't honest with you. Okay, so they might have kept something to themselves here, clearly. Oh, jeez. What else for Capricorn? I'm ready to open up. I wasn't honest with you. I'm ready to open up. Interesting. Get one more. How are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn? I wasn't ready. Okay, so that tells a nice story there. They weren't honest with you because they weren't ready to open up, but they're ready now. They weren't ready to open up in the past to you, but they're ready to open up now, Capricorn. Okay, so let's see what that means. Tell me more about what this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Capricorn. Tell me more about how this person is thinking or feeling when it comes to Capricorn. What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn, please? Wow, the sun and the ace of swords. Clarity. Clarity, truth. I feel like this is good news. Like this person has something good to tell you. Like I have um, a very important announcement to make. <laughs> and I feel like this is something that you're going to be happy to hear. What are they thinking or feeling about Capricorn? It's like they want to clear the air. Judgment reverse. Interesting. Maybe they want to tell you about a bad judgment call they made. We'll see. But for the most part, I'm getting really good energy here. Like it's going to be very like out in the open. Whatever this conversation is. It's going to be all out in the open. Leon. Come on, man. He's looking at me like so confused. Like he doesn't understand why he can't play here right behind me. <laughs> Tell me about the sun. Why is the sun here? Just picturing it like good news, clarity. Let's see. Nine of wands, reverse. Yeah, this is someone that's ready to open up. Their walls are down. Um, they're ready to not be so guarded so closed off ready to trust again possibly here the magician reverse okay never mind what i said okay so what i'm seeing here well actually it could be the other way too like maybe someone's afraid to open up because things haven't manifested for them right things haven't worked out for them so that's made them be defensive and closed off because it's easier than giving your heart away and having it blow up in your face, right? So that is a possibility. But I instantly thought trust issues. So there's trust issues here because something's not out in the open. I feel like this person's ready to open up about something here that will help this connection or maybe heal the trust that's been broken possibly. Tell me about this Ace of Swords. Wheel, what is going on? Wheel of Fortune reverse, Ace of Cups reverse. There's been like serious heartbreak and disappointment here. Things haven't worked out for this person. 
This could be that emperor energy that's still not free of a bad decision. I feel like they're still going to make something happen, though, with the Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy there. They're still going to try to make something happen. They're, they're motivated. Why is the Judgment card reversed? I feel like when they think about you, they made a bad Judgment call that it's like they want to clear the air about now. Like, they, they want things to to res like be restored or the balance is restored. Whatever judgment call this was, it completely put a stop to things. Um, they could have been juggling too much or had more than one thing. Yep, three of cups reverse. This could be a third party situation here that you're in, Capricorn, where I feel like it's your person, but of course feel free to flip it, but I feel like your person made a bad judgment call uh, about a third party situation. And this does not have to be another partner. It could be um, job situation, family situation, coworker, friend, uh, distance, career, addictions, blah, blah, blah. Anything that's interfering in this connection. I feel like this is a bad judgment call for this person. And it almost like put a stop to everything here. And it's like now they want to clear the air about that. So what are their next actions going to be towards you? What is this person's next actions going to be towards Capricorn? What are their next actions going to be towards Capricorn? What are their next actions going to be towards Capricorn? The lovers, some sort of choice here between what their mind is telling them or what their heart is telling them. Could be something to do with a partnership. King of Wands, reverse. Hmm. Eight of Swords, reverse. So they are breaking free of a situation they've been stuck in. But what is this King of Wands, reverse? What's this King of Wands reverse doing here? Five of Wands. So they're going to deal with some sort of drama on their end. Capricorn, there's going to be some sort of fallout for you or for this person. Someone's not going to be happy at this decision. Nine of Coin reverse. Exactly. This is what they're attached to. This is the Nine of Pentacles reverse. This is what they're attached to. They're going to fight back or there's going to be conflict there. Tell me about the Eight of Swords reverse. This is breaking free. Six of Coin reverse. Two of Wands reverse. Someone's going to make the choice. And I feel like with the Six of Coin reverse... Jeez. So sorry about my dogs, you guys. They're usually good, but today I don't know what's gotten into them. Six of coin reverse is usually something that's unfair, unbalanced. Someone's giving more than the other person. I feel like someone's breaking free of an um, like an imbalance or a situation that hasn't been fair to them. Yeah, three of cups reverse. This is a third party situation for sure. If whatever this third party is, they're going to break free of that to make this new choice. Um, as long as I'm also going to ask for some advice from spirit. So if this resonated for you, don't forget to leave me a comment. Tell me how it resonated. And I will see you all in another video, Capricorn. I hope you're all doing well and take care.